Okay, good morning. Sorry I didn't see, see anybody out there. I don't see anybody showing up, but I saw um, Stephanie and Rick are watching. So good morning to everybody that's out there. Um, right now, if anybody has any prayer requests, if you want to type them in the comment section so we can get those before we go to prayer. And um, any announcements? I hope you're all doing well trying to self-quarantine and uh, stay home. I know it stresses a lot of people. Here at our house, we've been, um, I have to telework, and the kids are doing schoolwork live with their school, so they're fortunate enough to be able to continue their schoolwork uh, during this time. Okay, am I back now? <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay. It's, it's not working right. Anyway, um, I don't have prayer requests, I guess, because I can't see them coming in. So we're going to go ahead and open in prayer and um, maybe we can get this going next week and have everything um, prepare it ahead of time. Okay, if everybody will bow their heads and let's pray at this time. Dear Lord, thank you for all your blessings on all of us. Um, thank you for keeping us safe and helping everybody self-quarantine and getting the food and uh, the supplies that they need during this rough time. Um, West Virginia hasn't been hit that hard yet, so we we'll probably haven't seen the worst of it yet, but we know that you will protect us and guide us and keep your hand of protection over us, Lord. And we will follow your guidance and uh, keep you number one in our life, Lord. And just thank you for this day. Thank you for the beautiful day yesterday. And thank you for our families and thank you for allowing us to come live on Facebook, Lord. And have, help everybody have a good week. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, Maisie is going to sing a song for everybody. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, guys. So, oh, mom, this is a really bad angle. <laughs> um, I chose this song because we're all stuck in the house and... Sometimes we just need to invite the Lord in the house. <laughs> so, here it goes. <laughs> There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare your living hope. Your presence. Lord, I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone. Your presence, Lord, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. And my voice is a little... I just drank some chocolate milk, but praise the Lord, everybody. Thanks, Maisie. Um, I'll try to keep this short today because we're not... We don't have anything for the little kids today. I wish I had a little one here to sing Jesus Loves Me or something. I can't sing, so I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> um, so, um, for if... 
I would like to or send something encouraging for other kids and email it um, to the church email box or send it somehow get it forwarded to me then we will share those next week so we can have the kids participate um, so um, we have birthdays this week thanks Tim Bauman for sending that message out otherwise I wouldn't know what they are um, we have Allie Barbara Jason Austin and John and like I said, I don't sing, so I can't sing happy birthday. But I wish you all happy birthday. And up next is um, Dan with the lesson. Alrighty, folks. How you doing? Uh, it's not the lesson I'm going to read. I'm going to read the, uh, uh, what Jason had emailed over. I'm going to read it word for word, okay? I'm not going to be able to present as good as he does because he's just an exceptional guy when it comes to things like this. Um, I am a little nervous about being in front of the camera. Even even back in my playing days and early coaching days, I hated to be on the sideline when there were cameras around. Um, so to make me feel more relaxed, I'm going to pretend I'm in a booth for a little bit, put some headsets half. And uh, Jason will appreciate that. Uh, but at, at any rate, just just joking, just trying to make a little bit of humor. I, um, these are actually earmuffs. Uh, I don't, I didn't wear them because of Maisie's singing. That's that's for sure. She's a beautiful singer. I wear them to keep Tam tuned down a little bit, but they're red. She would notice. But at any rate, um, let's get on with uh, with reading here. This is, this is from Jason. This is Jason's work. Uh, and you guys will have it in front of you because my presentation on a lot of things here. Okay. Uh, Jason also will close it and present as good as he does. Um, and whoops. All right now, before I, I start reading, uh, next week... Um, we will change the format just a little bit if, if you guys want to. And that's concerning the lesson. Uh, next week's lesson is about the low, lonely, lowly king, Zechariah. Okay? Um, uh, I want your feedback so we can plan ahead a little bit. I can do something short, just review the questions, or just touch the highlights in the lesson. But you let, you let Tam know so that in my morning out for me. All right, here we go with the lesson. This is Jason's. This week's thoughts come from the Philippines. Those people. Uh, four, 11 through 13. Um, how do you pronounce that again? Philippians. Philippians. Okay, 4.13 is a very popular verse that I'm sure all of you know. But there are some good nuggets around that verse as well that I wanted to share with you. Okay? Verse 11. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I'm in to be content. Boy, that's a powerful one there. Be content. 12. I know how to be abased, which is live humbly. And I know how to abound, live in prosperity. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. 13. I can things through Christ who strengthens me again. I can do all things who strengthens me. In verse 11, Paul writes that no matter what he's going through, he has learned to be content. What a great thing to learn at this preface. We must learn how to 
as we are all going through this difficult time. Like all of you, I hope we can return to normal. I miss having church services in the traditional sense, with all of us coming together to worship. All of our daily routines have been altered in so many ways. For the more experienced folks of our congregation, it is hard because you are not able to safely be around people. And that can leave you feeling isolated and lonely. For the younger, your school, your daily routines, sports, and hanging out with friends, all have been put on hold. This is not a good situation for any of us. As time goes on, it can be more and more frustrating. However, we must not forget the wisdom in this verse. No matter what, in good times and in bad times, we need to be content. Verse 12 is further confirmation of this point. Paul says that he knows how to be abased and how to about. He knows how to handle himself when things are going great, and he knows how to deal with things when they're going badly. He goes on to say, wherever and in all things, he has learned to be content. Again, in these craziest of times for our nation and for our world, we need to be patient and content. It's easier said than done. In fact, it is very difficult to be content while going through so much. But verse 13 teaches us how we can accomplish it. Paul writes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's the key. We can do this, but we cannot do it on our own. We can endure this, but not by ourselves. We can make it through all of this, but not only depending upon ourselves. We can only do this through Christ. We can only do this through Christ. We need to depend on Him now more than ever. It is He who provides the strength for us to be content in all things. Let your strength come from Him in this trying time. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9 puts it this way. We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, or persecuted, but not struck down, but not destroyed. No matter what we're going through, we are not crushed. In despair, forsaken, or destroyed. Why? Because we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Okay. Now, Jason also has a short little prayer that I'm going to read. Lord, so please, please bow your heads. Lord, help us to be content. Help us to be patient. Help us to know that you are still in control and we must look to you for our strength. I pray for our world, our nation, and everyone within our church family. I pray that you would be with each and every family in our church. Keep us safe and help keep us continue to look to you for strength and encouragement during this time of social distancing. Help us to remember that you our God, and that there are no circumstances that will ever change that. You are still in control. 
Jesus' name, amen. All right, now, Jason, thank you. Thank you for your work. Let's continue to, to put it out amongst us. Okay. If anyone needs anything, uh, Jason has his contact information on there. Um, Coach jhickman at gmail.com for you emailers. Um, if you need us home, no, home phone or cell phone, let Stephanie know and she will give it to you. Uh, or or uh, give Tama a shout. She likes being shouted at. That's part of her background. And she'll give it to you. All right. Looking forward to next week. But please, please give us some feedback uh, on on critiquing the lesson because I'd like to combine that in there too. But I don't want to drag it out and make it an all day thing. Uh, this morning, the 11:30 time slot worked best for the Lot family. If you can see behind us, uh, we we moved some furniture in last night. Um, I think we finished up uh, about 11, and it's not a ranch, it's just piled. We have two recliners, a rocking chair, two couches, and a love seat. Uh, and, and my desk, all, all, all kinds of things. Anyway, anyway, uh, not to ramble on, but be blessed. Send us your feedback. Um, I'm going to step away from, from this device here. Uh, I hope you I just noticed there's a glare off my glasses. It's not the evil coming out in these, <laughs> this computer screen. But my, my wife's going to step in and, and, and wrap up um, today's, uh, today's church time, FaceTime church time. Uh, love you all. Be good. Be safe. Okay, I had some ideas as Dan was uh, going over um, Pastor's um, message. I think maybe next week um, we could probably, for Dan's lesson, maybe go over questions and answers for two lessons and um, do that until we get caught up to where we are um, for the date. Um, then in doing that. Stephanie or Lynn, if somebody wants to send me a lesson um, for the children, um, I, Lakota will do that next week. Um, he loves to teach, and he's really good at with the kids, um, and he knows the Bible really well. So, and uh, take song requests or not, because she's more the modern uh, Christian music that, than the we can get her to do Amazing Grace or something. Well, we'll get her to do something anyway. Um, but uh, I'm sorry. Um, next, oh, okay, wait just a second. Okay, that's just a thank you. Okay, so um, next week I'll have another computer set up so I can actually read your comments as uh, people are talking and actually reply to you and get all your re prayer requests in. So you guys have a good week. Um, I have a short uh, uh, congregation here today, Maisie, Lakota, and Dan, but I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, and like I said, it will be better next week. We'll be better prepared. And I, I did, if you didn't see my message on Facebook, my dad has liver cancer, and I'd like for you all to pray for him. So, And my mom, she's really stressed, and uh, this is a tough time for her. So... Um, Everybody have a good week, and uh, the Lot family loves you. This is the Locked In Lot family Sunday morning. Have a good week.